represents? What? Tell us, sir. Uh, maybe it's the calm before the storm. What's the storm? Could be the calm, the calm before the storm. <laughs> The goal of a mass casualty event is to make order out of chaos. It will start with chaos and it will end in order. The question is how fast we can get order out of the chaos and how quickly we can get help to the people who need it. From the moment that the bomb explodes to the moment that there's a stampede of people trying to escape. The smoke begins to clear, but the disaster is far from over. And emergency first responders ensures that if it does, they'll be prepared. Dale Semach, I-24 News. This is the world you are graduating into. This is what I want to talk about today with you for a few minutes. To lead in shaping a new world order for the 21st century. Happiness, he turned like a train on a Comments towards her stock still no turning back. She hear him around the corner and she eat on their bed. She killed with what he says, then for on as she fled. We have a rebubble, she sunk with her dream. And wash it away down the kitchen sink The dark days are over The dark days are done The hard days are coming So you better run Run fast for your mother Run fast for your father Run for your children For your sisters and brothers said that you don't like to fly commercial because you don't want to get into a tube with a bunch of demons. Do you really believe that human beings are demons? No, I do not. And don't you ever say I did. We wrestle not with flesh and blood, but principalities and powers. Can you explain what you meant by that, that, by that term then? Just, just explain, because it's really simple. You said you didn't want to get into a tube with a bunch of demons. What did you mean? The, well, let me ask you. Do you think that the people that fly commercial are demons? Yeah, give me a chance to talk, sweetheart. I'll explain this to you. But it's a biblical thing. It's a spiritual thing. It doesn't have anything to do with people. People. I love people. On her way to work one morning, down the path along the lake, a tender-hearted woman saw a poor, half-frozen snake. Interesting. His pretty colored skin had been all frosted with the dew. Oh well, she cried, I'll take you in, and I'll take care of you. Take me in, O oh tender woman. Take me in, for heaven's sake. Take me in, O oh tender woman. Sighed the vicious snake. She wrapped him up cozy in a curvature of silk, and then laid him by the fireside with some honey and some milk. Now she hurried home from work, and that night, as soon as she arrived, she found that pretty snake she'd taken and revived. Take me in, O oh tender woman. Take me in, for heaven's sake. Take me in, O oh tender woman, sighed the vicious snake. Now she clutched him to her bosom. You're so beautiful, she cried. But if I hadn't brought you in, by now you might have died. She stroked his pretty skin, and then she kissed and held him tight. But instead of saying thank you, that snake gave her a vicious bite. Take me in, O oh tender woman. Take me in, for heaven's sake. Take me in, O oh tender woman sighed the vicious snake. I saved you, cried the woman. 
and you've bit me heavens why you know your bite is poisonous and now I'm going to die oh shut up silly woman said the reptile with a grin you knew damn well I was a snake before you took me in Jesus said